What's up, everybody? It's your boy, SJ KDOT, the first black Super Saiyan who ever arrived on this planet. I'm back with another video of the first black Super Saiyan with the Young Saiyan Drip. Look, we're going to get into a quick discussion. Got an article right here. Okay. If I look like I'm a little bit tired, just jump back. I'm jumping back into my workouts, you know, trying to, it's time to slim up. You know, I took my little rest, time to slim it down a bit, change the eating habits. But it felt good. It felt good. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this article. This was regarding something that has to do with, you know, an interracial relationship. It's an article. So the article is basically Georgia police officer says he was fired for an interracial relationship. We're gonna read the article here. Now, this, I was already, you know, talking about this topic like weeks back. Weeks back, right? Well, actually, during this week. And uh, it was a bunch of, you know, I was on Instagram, scrolling through, looking at something. And you know what? It's when I got to those. <laughs> Look, I love my black folks. I love my black folks. But at the end of the day, I love my black folks. I love some of my white folks. I love some of my Latino folks. I love, I got love for y'all. But at the end of the day, I'm not directly going to, just because I look like you, doesn't mean I'm fully on the team, but it doesn't mean I'm against you. What it means is, I may not agree with everything you do, but I could agree agree with some of the things you say. Now I want to talk about, you know, I was scrolling through, saw one of these, you know, the old pro-black Instagram uh, pages. You know, I went there, you know, uh, it's a scout. I was looking through, boom, 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 boom. I saw this one page about this, uh, this girl. She posted something about um, this new superhero show coming to um, Netflix, whatever, talking about this uh, South African superheroes, whatever. I was like, okay, you know, I'll calm down on that. Went to another picture. There was this girl who posted something about the show uh, Little Bill, if you guys remember Little Bill. Little Bill is this uh, TV show about this kid named Little Bill, his little black family and everything. You know what we call him? We call him Little Bill Cosby. Little Bill Cosby. If y'all remember Little Bill. Now, in Little Bill, uh, his mother was dark-skinned. His mother was dark skinned, and uh, someone posted a uh, someone posted something saying, "Oh, it's a good thing that the black woman isn't, you know, the uh, the cliche light skinned black woman that gets promoted more than dark skinned women in media." And to a degree, I can agree with that, but this wasn't that. That was nice. It was cool, you know. I didn't fully agree with it, but I was like, "It's cool." Then I scrolled to another post. I saw this uh, post regarding interracial relationships. And obviously it was posted by a woman, a black woman. And basically what she said was, I'm okay with you in the interracial relationship. Which, you know, you shouldn't even really care who anybody dates. But she was like, don't put down, you know, black, it, I'm okay with a black man dating a white woman, but don't, but, but don't put down the black woman because... It was a clip from this movie, right? And this black girl straight up said, uh, oh, all, all all the decent black men are going straight to you. You know, and I'm, I was like, uh, kind of false, but whatever, you know. We're black. We can make our own community and we can make our own. We got to raise up our own community. We got to make our own decent black men. Because, you know, look, at the end of the day, I don't care who you date. Because some people be acting like, oh, you're taking all the decent black men we have. No, they're not. It's not like there's white women going out here, snatching up 30 black men, shoving them inside a basement. And it's like, you're all mine now. Maybe in times, you know, slavery, but, you know, yeah. But look, let's get into this article. I talk too much. You know, I, I say what I had to say. Let's get into this article. Georgia police officer says he was fired for an interracial, interracial relationship. Dang, shady. Let's talk about this. When Dar when Darien Police Chief Donnie Howard found out his 16-year-old daughter, who is white, had a black boyfriend, he said he became physically ill. How Howard rarely censored himself when discussing race, according to the deposition stemming from a federal discrimination lawsuit filed by an African-American former officer. Coron Robinson, now a narcotics investigator with the... McIntosh County Sheriff's Department alleges he was arbitrarily disciplined, demoted, and eventually fired 
after Darien police administrators learned he was dating a white colleague. That is shady. The depositions were reviewed by Channel 2 Action News and the Atlanta Journal Constitution as part of a joint investigation. You work in these places, you keep your head down, do your job, don't make waves, Robinson said. This is their world. The world was a place where a Nazi flag once hung on the wall inside police headquarters, which Howard acknowledged under oath. He also admitted to share a disturbing tale from childhood with some of his officers. The story was about to about you putting watermelon beside the road and that you would hide and wait for the blacks to come out, come and get it, and shoot them with BB guns. Does that sound familiar? Asked Robin's attorney, Katie Mitchell. The chief's response, I was a juvenile kid. It's not the first time members of law enforcement have faced racist allegations in McIntosh County, located halfway between Savannah and Jacksonville. Facebook messages that surfaced in 2016 show two former, former McIntosh deputies referring to African Americans as the N-word and discussing targeting black motorists for infractions. A former McIntosh County Sheriff's Department captain filed a federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission complaint in 2014 alleging that the Sheriff Stephen Jessup often used the N-word toward his political opponent or members of the community. In fact, this was accepted behavior by several individuals in the department. Former Captain Robert J. Kicklighter's complaint alleged. Jessup denied the allegations, telling the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in 2016 he will not tolerate racism or bigotry of any fashion. All right, let me say something. This is clearly a racist man. It's clearly, clearly a racist man. Like he, like he said, the dude that fired him, his daughter, was dating a black kid. He had an issue with it. Clearly a racist guy. Now, at the end of the day, I have no issue with interracial relationships because at the end of the day, pretty much all humans on this planet is mixed with something. There's, I was remember I was, I was talking to this uh, black lady, right? And then she was talking about, there's got to be one pure black person out there. I'm like, nah, nah. If there's one pure black person out here, like pure black, like you're only black, it'll be something rare. Everybody's mixed with something. I'm part Native American. I'm probably part European. But I know for a fact I'm part Native American. Hell, even get even hell, my roots might trace back to Genghis Khan and the Mongols conquest. Because remember, when the when the Mong during the Mongols conquest, Genghis Khan and his Mongols were going around sleeping with multiple women, getting hella women pregnant, and they were going to conquest and raping, pillaging, doing and some people's roots trace back to Geng Genghis Khan. I don't know if I'm related. I don't know. I don't know. But I may never know. But everybody's mixed with something. Everybody's mixed with something else. We're all mixed to a degree. <sighs> but at the end of the day, you know, this is a race thing. And this is also a, a, a violation of, you know, your right in a way, your human right. It's like you're firing somebody over them dating somebody because of their skin color and you have an issue with it. You are you are irritated by it in a way. And it's like that's it's not that's not cool to do. That's not cool at all. Cause you know, even look if I want to date a Middle Eastern girl, I have the right to. Because we may not fully believe the same thing. But, because no couple truly agrees and disagrees. Because if a couple fully agreed, there wouldn't be no argument in a relationship. They'd be on the they'll be on the same wavelength. And not a lot of couples are like that. Most couples who say they are and they agree with almost everything the other partner says, probably a lot. They just trying to you know hype up themselves by oh we a perfect couple. When that's not probably the case. Now me, I'm over here like you should be able to date whoever you want if you love somebody. And that person mutually loves you back. If it's nothing, if if there is truly no uh bad blood in the relationship, you know, and you you there will be your constant. You'll have your occasion where you may argue. You have your your occasion where you you the argument gets too real. But if you're able to argue, and then fix a solution, and then resolve it, and just be able to be all like, look, I'm sorry I came at you. Understand. I may not fully agree, but let's try to make this compromise work. Because a lot of 
a lot of relationships come with compromises, whether you're dating somebody, whether you're not dating somebody, you're not, humans are not fully going to agree with each other, because if that was the case, everybody would be in full harmony, but we're not. Everybody would be on the same wavelength. But at the end of the day, it's not right what happened to this dude. He got fired over dating a Caucasian woman. There's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that at all. And there will be some black people that be all like, mm, there, there will be, honestly, because there's some black people in our community that will get on another black person for dating outside, you know, their, their race. And it's like, why is that your problem? Are you salty? Because... He's not getting with a black woman within your race. You think he's obligated to have to date within his race? Nah. He can date whoever he wants. He can date whoever he wants. Whoever he wants. Because at the end of the day, he's the one who has to go to bed with himself. He's the one who has to fend for himself at some point. He's the one who has, who's going to have to grow up and do what he got to do. He's not here trying to make anybody else happy. He's trying to make himself happy. And then there'll be some times where he may want to, you know, come back and help out his people. That's if he wants to. But let's keep going. Jessup denied the allegations telling Atlanta Journal Constitution in 2016 he would not tolerate racism or bigotry of any fashion. He remained sheriff re-elected three years ago with 62.5% of the vote Howard appointed, not elected. It is still is still the police chief or of Darien, McIntosh County seat. Brunswick attorney Rick Stricken, who represented the defendants in Robinson's suit, declined to comment. Suddenly, everything changed. Robinson denied the Darien police force part-time in 2012 of the recommendation of Ryan Alexander, this one-time direct supervisor and former best friend. Now Alexander is a co-defendant in Robinson's suit. Within two years, Robinson was the department's narcotics investigator, the job I always wanted, he told the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. He often worked alongside a new hire, Stacy Miller. She sounds cute. They began seeing each other outside the office and a romance bloomed. Dang, sounds beautiful. Robson had kept previous interracial relationships a secret, believing many whites in his small coastal community would not approve. Yeah. This time he informed Alexander about the relationship after he and Miller attended a Dirks Bentley concert with Alexander and his wife in December 2015. I just wanted to let them know because we worked so closely together, Robinson said. Alexander testified that he knew about their relationship months before then, and the timeline is important as Robinson alleges the harassment began almost immediately afterward. During his deposition, Alexander recalled telling Robinson that dating Miller was probably a bad idea. Nah, man. No. Suddenly everything changed, Robinson said. Look, bro, don't feel bad. Be happy. If Stacy was making you happy and your relationship seemed healthy, freak. The world, bro. Make yourself happy. Because at the end of the day, the guy that's getting on you about your relationship, he just butt hurt. He's racist. He's clearly racist. He's clearly racist. But at the end of the day, do you, bro. Date who makes you happy. Don't be with somebody that you truly don't like. Don't. Because at the end of the day, I got preferences when I like to date. Look, if you look like a beautiful Middle Eastern woman and I like you and we have some alignment, I'm down to date. If you Asian, you look pretty, we, there's an alignment, I'm down to date. If you're white, there's an alignment between us to a degree, I'm down to date. If you black and there's an alignment, we can connect, I'm down to date you. For me... Skin color is not going to hold me back, but there's some people that just like to date somebody because you got to look a certain way, and that's how dating goes. What's the first thing that happens when you when when you when you fall in when you like not fall in love, but when you set your sights on somebody, you look at them physically, you physically check them out before you go talk talk to them and say, "Yo, it's good, baby." I wouldn't say that, but you know, sha, baby, well, good, but you know what I mean. It all starts with physical attraction, and some people will just, and some people will strictly date someone based on the color of their skin and how they look. Skin color factors into it, but don't feel bad. Look, if someone 
want to date somebody based on a certain skin color, there ain't nothing wrong with it because a lot everybody has dating preferences. Some people will not date you if 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 your toes look busted. Some people will not date you if your if if you if the way you dress and if the way you uh you you your your hygiene is, they ain't finna date you. Hell, you can probably have a unibrow and somebody won't date you. So everybody has preferences. You can't escape them. Some preferences are like, oh dang man, that's kind of much, but it's just like that's just how it is. People date who they want to date, and it's the person they want to be with for the rest of their life. They want to, they want to, they want to, they want to visually have this person, and they want to have a relationship with this person for the rest of their life because it's like someone they they like to look at and someone they like to talk to. So, yeah, that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. But date who you will, date who you want, date who makes you happy. Statements from two other officers in the department support Robinson's claim. Darien Police Captain Archie Davis testified that he noticed a difference in how Chief Power talked about Robinson and his week and his work ethic beginning in January 2016. Over the next eight months, up until Robinson's dismissal, they put him through hell, said Katie Mitchell, Robinson's lawyer. Alexander ordered Robinson and Miller not to ride in their department-issued police vehicle together, allegedly saying it, it didn't look good, Mitchell said. Alexander said the decision was more about policing. Because of their relationship, if something were to happen to where Stacy was in danger, I knew Coron would have done more to protect Stacy instead of handling the scene, he said in his deposition. The edict didn't cover their off-duty time yet. Robinson said he was suspended for three days after driving with Miller in his police-issued vehicle to a wedding in Atlanta. He said other officers were allowed to use their vehicles for personal use, one of the few perks in a low-paying job. Howard testified that such trips had to be approved first. Uh, okay. All right. There's a lot here. Y'all can go read the rest, but we got it for the most part. Dude's a hater. He's mad. He's mad that another man is happy with the person he is. He's mad that that man he's looking at is dating somebody of of his own, and he's just mad. He's butthurt. And that's just the world we live in. So at the end of the day, look, you date who you will. You date who makes you happy. Because the world is not a nice place. The world is not a perfect place. You date who makes you happy. Sure, you know, you'll have you'll probably have your boundaries based off your religious, cultural beliefs. You'll have your boundaries. But at the end of the day, date who makes you happy. Date who makes you happy. If they make you happy and you guys are doing good, you're doing good and you're not promote and you're not doing anything bad bad be happy the freak freak these people you know don't just sit there and let them get on you because you're dating somebody that makes you happy to a degree don't do it just like freak you bro i'm out of here i'm done with you i'm outie 3000 freak you bro that's what you got to do so you guys i implore you be careful you know it's, it's all up to you on how you go about interracial relationships you see, I have no issue with it. But at the end of the day, you know, this man is being hated on racially. He's being he's being attacked with a lot of prejudice coming towards him. But at the end of the day, be be happy with whoever makes you happy. If there's people within your culture, your race is like, oh, why are you dating that Asian girl? <laughs> you need to get you a you're you are a Caucasian male. You need to be with a Caucasian woman. You need a Bring out the Caucasians. You need to pr pr you need to produce more Caucasians. Okay, you, and that's where it gets. People feel like you. People like to put pressure on you to. Like that's that's the one thing I hate. A whole race putting pressure on individuals to. It's like just it's like just it's like you look like me. You have to you have to exactly be like me. You have to be on the team. You know, sometimes there'll be, that's the same issue in the black community sometimes. There'll be people that'll be like, oh, you're black, you got to ride for his black, so you're not. You, you a coon, bruh. You a coon, bruh. You a coon if you don't ride for us. It happens, you know. Fuck it. But like I say, date who you will, date within your race. It's all up to you. Be happy at the end of the day. It's your boy, Kid. I'm the first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. I'm always here with these videos, racking out stuff for y'all. I gotta do a music reaction. Haven't done those in a while. I'm gonna try and do two today. Then I got a, a trailer reaction for this uh, new movie coming out. 
I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do it today. You guys have a very good day. Go to that peace, love, positivity, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs. Watch out for these quirky people out here. Stay away from these quirky people. Do what you do. Be happy. Peace, love, positivity all the time. Deuces.